Hello everyone, I am Tacit and today I will be going over a quick method to farm EXP and trade zones. Uh, the main reason why I saved uh, showing this for a while, I was originally going to do it when the uh, Dust Devils got nerfed, because that was the main farming method used. But I uh, saved it for now, because the area that it uh, takes place is, is in Divinion Fields, where you get uh, purple and yellow trade stones. And we've been waiting forever to try to get a purple and yellow trade stone. And unfortunately, it was an ultra rare this week. So that means each arcane trade stone is going to be costing 300 each. So this will be a great method to get that trade stone without having to spend a lot of glory. We'll be doing it in Divinion Fields. Because if you don't know already, each kingdom gives trade stones based on the banner that it has. Right here you can see Divinion Fields is the yellow purple, the same... Uh, color that is currently for uh, the troop for this event and like if you check other kingdoms like uh, Broken Spire it's uh, brown and blue as you can see right here or if you wanted just like a single trait stone uh, you can go to something like Pride Lands which is all red you'll only ever drop red trait stones from this kingdom the setup to do this really quick farming method uh, you'll want to be set on hard. This increases the chance of trade stones dropping slightly. It doesn't increase rarity, but the chance of you not getting a trade stone will be reduced. So you'll get trade stones more often. You'll want to wear your best EXP armor, which is, I'm just using a Dread, right, dread Knight right, right now. You'd probably want to use something like Lion Armor if you have it, or any EXP armor. And the build we will be doing it with is this. Uh, War and Peace, if I'm not mistaken, you get this from the quest line at the end of um, Kazil, all the way um, right up here. There's a quest at the end where you fight like a Mega Gorgortha or something, and I believe that is the reward for it. It's the only kingdom right now that actually gives a weapon within the quest line. Hopefully they'll add more things like that in the future. Anyways, that's where I believe you get that. Um, and you'll want to have... Uh, the Archer class on, and you'll want to have the Fast Trait. This will be needed to get his ability off uh, from the beginning. You'll want to have the plus two brown banner. You want to make sure this is level 20. You have that second trait. And to Soothslayer, it doesn't matter what their level is, but you'll want to have all of his traits activated. And what we do here is basically uh, one shot the other team. From all of the brown links that we have. Any brown match will completely fill up um, the archer class. Because it has that fast already putting it at 8. So watch here. You just take one and it's already full. Another be uh, benefit of having these um, soothsayers here. Is you notice that all of their stats have been reduced. If it hits armor or HP. It will be a lot easier for uh, war and peace to kill them. Depending on how many magic kingdoms you have, you may not be able to do it initially. Like, as you can see, I'm doing 20 damage right now. I think I have uh, plus se uh, 7 magic total between all uh, kingdom bonuses. And right now, you can see the highest HP on the enemy team is 18 with this ranger. So I can easily finish them out. If your magic is lower, you can use things like the soothslayers and try getting extra turns or just give them as minimal as possible. And otherwise, you just completely team wipe them like this. And you basically just can keep repeating this until you get as many um, done as you want. It's really quick EXP, great trait stones. And you can get the yellow purple trait stone by doing this. Uh, the arcane uh, trait stones have about a 3% chance of dropping every match you do. So every about 30 or 40 matches, you will get one. That does seem like a lot, but they go fairly quick. Especially if you can actually get an extra turn off of one of these. Fortunately, I'm not being that lucky, but I am at least getting the browns there. So this will instantly fill it. And then it'll take its turn, and then you can just cast it. And then you can just go through these real quick. I think that was just a standard purple. <laughs> if you do that too quick, you won't actually be able to see what you get. But it does save a few seconds of spam clicking it. Uh, winning like this will sometimes lag the game a bit. You can just restart the game and it'll fix the lag. 
No, I'll take this one actually. That's an extra, like you see, there's an extra turn right there. So this is actually ends up being quicker than Dust Devils. You get the extra turn, and you already have this up, and then dead. Whole team. Because earlier when the Dust Devils were uh, pre-nerfed, um, I was able to use this one Dust Devil, and then the next, and it was already done. Um, there's also a glitch right now where you can cast things early. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with Soothsayer. What happens is, if you click it, like I'm spam clicking this right now, you can't actually click it until all the effects go under, as even though it already gets that beforehand, which is kind of annoying, but... Um, empowered early is a glitch anyway, so it's not supposed to be working like that. It'll probably be fixed soon. But yeah, you just keep repeating things like that. And you need to stop doing turns. <laughs> And then they go down. I was hoping to try to get a yellow purple in this video real quick, but that doesn't seem like it's going to be happening. Especially since it's only around a 3% chance. Might be here a while. So I'll just do this one last one just to show how what its kind of speed rate is and how consistent it is. The only pro I noticed I ha uh, during this I haven't gotten a single first turn um, brown or... Um, full green to actually fill that all the way <laughs> but you do get lucky like that sometimes making it go even quicker but yeah that's the basic method to uh, farming trait stones and exp right now uh, there might be a couple other kingdoms that you can actually do the setup in I mostly just do the Vineyard Fields because so many troops use yellow purple. And with this event only giving one trait stone, that's not really helping accumulate them. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.